Here's to some high school football. Coach Kevin Sullivan led the Jackson Tigers for 11 seasons and then later served as the Tigers athletic director. Coach Sullivan made the Tigers football field feel like home for a lot of people and now his name will be on that football field. The Tigers officially played their first game on Coach Kevin Sullivan Field tonight. This was truly a special moment for that former ball coach as they took down the paper and unveiled his name that will stay there on that field. Really humbling is really the thing. Uh, you know, you don't get into this business for that. You get into this business to impact lives. And, uh, you know, I know I've done that. And just a lot of people, not just the football kids, but just the community. The community accepted me when I got here in 98. And uh, just just tremendous. It's just it's just sort of crazy for me. It's, it was a dream for me as a professional uh, because he, he was the guy who brought me back here. Uh, and he's meant so much to me to, to help rebuild this program because he had to do it. Uh, and, I, and, I, and I'm going to be honest with you. I think there's an entire generation of guys that we're, we're, we're missing. I mean, Joe Reynolds and, and, and Marty Lee. There's a bunch of guys who've done a lot for football. That, that, that we haven't mentioned yet. Kevin Brown, those guys did a lot for this community, a lot for Duval County, and I just wanted to do my part. You know, he, he, he was more than worthy for this honor. And to the football game that hit the field tonight, Jackson taking on Atlantic coach in that spring game. Both defenses playing well in this one. Uh, one yard and cloud of dust kind of night. Big emphasis on the cloud of dust. Tigers on offense now, and we'll see uh, Grayson Howard, who's known as one of the best linebackers in the country, get the ball as a running back. But that Stingray defense there for the quick stop. Tigers still on offense, and they're looking to score, but the uh, that Atlantic Coast defense just wasn't having it. They had other plans here. Able to come up with a quick interception in the red zone. Sadly, that Atlantic Coast offense not able to do anything with it. So we go back to the Tigers on offense one more time. This time, Amori Terry with a beautiful pass to Fred Gaines. This goes for a Tigers touchdown. Pretty sweet night before the rain kind of moved in on them. If you want to keep up with everything going on around our high school sports, make sure you check out our varsity newsletter. All you have to do, head over to newsforjacks.com.